Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on Sweet on Succulents with me. I'm Maine, today I'm going to share with you how to plant this elephant bush cutting. Elephant bush is also known as elephant food, elephant plant, dwarf jade, or mini jade, but it's not actually a jade. It has long, beautiful, undulating branches and it may be bonsai. This evergreen succulent bush is easy to grow and is a great succulent for beginners. This elephant bush cutting has calloused over and the end has dried out. In fact, it may be a little too dry. As you can see, the leaves have wrinkled and shriveled, but I'll plant it and give it sufficient water and it'll look great after a month, perhaps even after a week. You'll notice that this elephant bush cutting also has little branches stemming from the main branch and these will later get longer and will look like these. The first thing I do is grab a terracotta pot. This one is large enough for this elephant bush cutting because this elephant bush cutting is um, over a foot long so I've grabbed an eight, eight inch terracotta pot and filled it up with a uh, well-draining soil. So that's basically potting soil and perlite or pumice all mixed together. And I've gone ahead and also um, grabbed a chopstick so that I can wiggle this elephant bush cutting in the soil. And basically my, my soil is a 50-50 mix of potting soil and pumice or perlite. So I grab my chopstick and place it right into the center, loosening up the soil. I want it centered so that it doesn't tip over to one side or another and it just grows straight. I'll insert my elephant bush cutting and I see that, you know, it's just not deep enough because I know that this elephant bush cutting will pop out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dig a little deeper so that I can place the elephant bush cutting deeper into the soil and so that it remains stabilized within the pot. And all I'll do is I'll grab it. I'll grab it closer towards the base and insert it these are pretty hardy succulents, so I can be a little rough with them. Then I'll just pat the soil around the cutting and make sure it's nice and compact. I find that when I take the time to pat the soil around my succulents, that they, they tend to grow better and they tend to root faster. This, of course, is just my experience, and your experience may be different. Let me know what your experience has been in the comments. This is the elephant bush cutting all potted up. As you can see, it's nice and stable in the pot. The soil is nice and packed. And um, I'm, I'm going to water it. So it's time to water it. I have a 16 ounce container in my hand and it's almost full of water um, completely full of water this well draining soil allows the water to run out of the, run out of the pot and it runs out of the pot uh, through the drainage hole so even if you have a plastic pot and you have drainage holes that will benefit your plant um, in that you're preventing root rot the terracotta pot also aids in preventing root rot because it'll absorb the moisture in the soil as well. Root rot is something that can be easily avoided and um, it's something that will ultimately kill your plant. So you want this type of soil where it's just going to drain the water quickly and allow excess water to escape from this drainage hole. One important thing you should consider when watering your plants is that you should thoroughly soak the soil 
and just allow it to dry completely before you water it again. I'm going to go ahead and spritz these leaves now so that the leaves are kind of de-shriveled. I'll just let it air dry. This is how I've done it. Other people out there may have different methods and but this is what I found to be successful for me where I'm at in Southern California where it's very dry. And I'm, I'm making the soil very moist because like I had said, these, these are, these leaves are very shriveled. So that's pretty much about it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll try to reply that, to them as soon as possible. Again, thank you so much for your support and happy planting.